Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing great. So today I'm coming to you with a new DIY project. Uh, this time I will be creating this super popular textured abstract art painting. Uh, to be honest, I never done it before, so this will be my first time of doing it with you. My idea is to create this painting on the lowest possible budget. Uh, I searched the internet and this kind of paintings are starting prices about hundred pounds and they go even up to one thousand pounds but I would say average for like a good size painting is about 250 pounds so that's a lot of money for something let's be honest very simple design there's no much skills to put in there i also done the research on the products you can use to create this texture uh, i will be using white plaster because that's something for I already have at home and as I said before I'm going for the cheapest option but you also can use a joint compound a sparkling which is kind of like a filler silicone uh, but with the silicone you won't be able really to paint later or you can also use some thick paint all these products you can buy online or in any DIY store. You will also need canvas. I wanted to create it quite big. I was thinking uh, to put it above my bed if I would like the result. Uh, the minimalistic look will go pretty well with my bedroom. So I bought canvas which is 60 times 90 centimeters. And this size of canvas online costs about 15 up to 30 pounds but i only pay five pounds and how i've done it i simply went to a facebook marketplace and look locally for any like a printed old canvas so that's the canvas which i bought on facebook marketplace i really like the size but mostly the price of it there is some glitter on it and water damages but that's not a problem as i'm gonna to paint it whole white uh, i probably won't even have to paint it white as i'm gonna cover it uh, with my plaster but just to be on the safe side i painted before i also got some spare white paint at home so that won't cost me anything and using white paint brush i apply the paint all over my canvas i'm using matte paint so hopefully that will also help plaster stick to this canvas better for the edges of the canvas I'm applying few layers of the paint to fully cover the picture underneath as I'm not going to put any plaster here. Now the paint is dry and I place the canvas flat on the floor. In empty old container I mix my plaster with the water. I don't really know the proportions, uh, I was slowly adding plaster powder to the water and mix it well to achieve quite thick uh, consistency. I've also collected few tools like spatulas for applying the plaster on the canvas, few different shapes and sizes. I start with putting some of the plaster on my tool and then move it on the top of the canvas. So this is called abstract painting, which means I can do what I really want to. There is no rules to be followed. I also want to achieve the protruding texture. That's why I apply quite a thick layer of the plaster. First, I go with the bigger spatula to apply the plaster and create the design. Then I take my smaller tool and create even more details and texture. It's actually a very enjoyable process to do. I literally had so much fun working with the plaster. I think it's the feeling that you can just do whatever you want with it. There is no rules you have to stick to or there isn't even specific design I'm going for. And because the plaster doesn't dry out too quick, I was able to go back and change a few moves. Once the whole canvas was covered, uh, I went with my tool around the edges to remove any excess plaster. So that's how it looked like before drying. 
it should dry out white, but we will see. Okay, so it's two days after I've done the painting and I want to share some story with you. And so basically, once I finished my painting, I left it how it was flat on the floor by the window. Uh, I turned off the radiator to avoid any cracks and from time to time I was opening the window for like a better air circulation. And my boyfriend knew this painting is in here, alright? But next day in the morning, he really want to see something through the window. I don't know, something exciting maybe was happening. And he basically went towards the window and he stepped on my painting, right? I know he hasn't done it on purpose, but it's still not the best feeling when someone ruins your project. Uh, so what I thought at first, I just gonna kind of fix it, maybe put new plaster over the crack, because basically what happened once he step on it, the canvas, he hasn't made any hole in the canvas, just the, the plaster cracked. So I thought, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go with the plaster all over it and maybe kind of like a glue it together. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Once I start touching this plaster, it will start coming uh, off and off. So then I thought, you know what, I just have to start again. So I basically, small parts at the time, I was removing the plaster off from the canvas and then started the process again. I haven't recorded because I've done exactly the same process. I used the same plaster, same tools and everything, but I thought I, I shared the story with you uh, because probably the picture looks different than using it last time because obviously it's hard to to copy something like that. So now is the day after I painted again and it's fully dry so let me show you how it turned out so that's how it looks like now there is still a few places slightly wet but that won't take long to dry now as you can see the picture underneath is fully covered as i apply quite a thick layer of the plaster it's supposed to dry out white but it's not brilliant white i would say it's more on the beigey side i've put a piece of paper on the top just to compare the colors so i've decided to paint it white i'm using the same paint i've used before because of the texture of this painting i'm using small paintbrush if i would go with the big one i might lose all the dense and the whole texture so i paint small parts at the time once the paint dried out the coverage was pretty good i was worrying at first i will have to use few layers of paint as plaster usually absorbs a lot with the first coat it was quite time consuming but i prefer the white look over the plain plaster my boyfriend said that i'm boring with the colors and he would add some bold paint but i don't think he should say anything in this case and it's all ready now i love the final result i just like its simplicity and how it looks on the wall some of you might think it's boring and it shouldn't even be called art but i think there is something about it it's a minimalist in looking piece which would look great in many interior styles. So yeah, that was a project with some adventure. I actually didn't mind do it again as I really enjoyed the process of putting the plaster around and moving it. So yeah, I didn't mind it. But if you had any similar situation when someone destroy and ruin your project by mistake just let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to read them i know probably at that time it's not funny but later on is you can just laugh about it overall i'm super happy how it turned out if you like it as well please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more diy projects so overall, I managed to create this big painting for five pounds. Uh, the only money I spent was buying the canvas. Uh, I had the plaster and the tools and everything else. But of course, that will depend what you actually got already at home. But I think under 20 pounds, you can do this painting easily. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching your support. And I will see you in my next video.